Welcome back, guys, to another roundtable. My name is Adam. With me once again, I have Rusmin. Hello. And Victor. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. We're going to talk about whether it's time to invest in US dollars. Whoa. Because the USD just seems to keep going up. Yep. yep. We are strengthening against many, many currencies right now. So, um, I think the main thing that we've been talking about the last few weeks is basically interest rates, yep. right? Yeah. I think I'm, I'm like repeated it so many times. Um, but interest rates in the US are going up and because of that, um, the USD is going up as well. Yep. All right. So maybe you can explain why rising interest rates, you know, uh, strengthen the USD. Yeah, I think basically with the rising of uh, interest rate, a lot of uh, funds, institutional, so a lot of people, net, basically they just want to move their funds from foreign currency to back to US dollars because at home, let's say if US dollar is giving you more or higher interest rate, okay, then you might want to park your money there. Okay, and Mr biggest economy in the world and uh, because of that demand strong demand in US dollar okay because everyone is moving back and that naturally leads to strengthening of currency okay so you look at uh, yen I mean the performance against a major majority of the other countries developed markets like euro uh, pounds uh, or yen or even Japanese uh, yen okay and you can see that the performance uh, so far Singapore dollars hold up pretty well this year itself mm -hmm. okay but if you look at the performance for Japanese yen uh, you can see that it's probably one of the worst performers right because uh, Japanese uh, bank monetary policy is still very loose right so uh, and a lot of people are actually moving their funds out of uh, the country okay and that actually leads to a big sell down in terms of uh, yen itself okay and the other big loser will be pound okay because of the energy crisis that's going on with the uh, European market but euro and uh, Chinese yen, I think so far, uh, down about ten percent. Okay, but you know this is against the performance of US dollar. I think by far, I mean, US dollar has strengthened basically, right? Mm -hmm. And except of course, Sing dollar hold up pretty well. Okay, yeah, the Sing dollar <laughs> yeah. has been pretty strong yep. as well. Uh, but then even if you compare the Sing dollar with the USD, the yeah. USD has still strengthened, strengthened against yep, yes. the U I mean against the Sing dollar. For well, yes. uh, year to date, year to date, yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. Talking about year to date. So knowing this, I mean, we all kind of know that. Um, the Fed is still raising interest rates. Yep. They still mm. expect to raise interest rates next the, I year. I think the expectation is going above probably 5% or something. Yeah, right? something right. like that in 2023. So knowing that interest rates are most likely going to go up, all right? And mm. because of that, you know the relationship, the simple relationship is that if you know you, interest rates continue to rise, yep. the USD should continue to it's strengthen. Strengthen. Yep. strengthen. Yes. Yeah. So knowing that, like, that's the hypothesis, all right? Shall we, should, it doesn't make sense to basically put some money in US USD. dollars. Yep. All right. So we're going to explore the options right now, what's available in the market, what's easy to do. And then you can decide for yourself whether you want to put some money in USD. Yep. All right. So what are the options you can do right now to invest in USD? Uh, I think if you were to look at uh, some of the local banks, let's say, for example, DBS, right? They do have a USD fixed deposit, right? Where you can de uh, you can deposit the currency based on uh, USD or any other. Okay. So let's, let's look at USD, right? The fixed deposit, uh, they offer you between uh, one to 12 months. Mm -hmm. Okay. And depending on the amount that you put in, right, the interest rate range between 3.4% to 4.62% mm -hmm. based on the amount that you put in. And also do take note that there's also penalty if you were to rejoin early right. based on the uh, fixed date. Right. right. I mean, with fixed deposits, there's always, yep. I mean, you're locked in for a period of time. Yep. Uh, but then the interest rates in this, is you're saying it ranges between the but amount you put in 3, and, 4 the, and, and the tenure as well, right? Yeah, correct. Yeah, so depending, it depends on... On oh, the amount and the, the and tenure. The tenure. Yeah. All right, so it, it really depends on what you have, whether that makes yeah. sense for you, and then you lock it, you, you lock yourself in. Yep, correct. Yes. Yeah. Uh, of course, the other option would be, you know, with the rising interest rate, typically the treasury bill, uh, basically the short-term government uh, debt, okay, okay, in the US will also rise together. So you can see that the interest rate have uh, risen uh, quite quickly uh, and it's very steep, you know, and at this stage, I think if you look at the treasury bill in the US, they have uh, four weeks, three months and six months. So you can see that four, four weeks uh, yield is fluctuating between 3.5% there about mm -hmm. and for both three months and six months, it's already been above uh, 4%. All right. So it's far higher as compared to the local, you know, deposit rate. So this is like kind of going direct, almost direct to the US yes, uh, yeah. government and buying their bonds and bonds. Bills. Yes. Yeah. It's almost like buying Singapore saving bonds. Right? Yeah. But you're yeah. going to the US, US saving bonds, <laughs> something yeah. like that. Yeah. And you can do this through a broker. Uh, yep. secondary um, market. Yeah. So if you're American, of course, you can buy directly through Treasury Direct. Yep. Okay. You need to have, uh, you need to be an American uh, mm. with a uh, local address in the US. And uh, I think I believe uh, a social security, security number. Is, yeah. I, numbers, I went to have yeah. a look. It was a, uh, it was a process. Yep. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. But I think uh, if you're not, of course you you can't. 
mm-hmm. buy directly from the treasury direct. Okay, then the second option would be buying through your broker. Mm. Will I mean, the broker must have access to the bond market in the US? Yep. All right. But yeah. I think there's a disadvantage is that your your bond price is is there's volatility over there. Yeah. Yeah. Right? yeah it is. Yeah. I mean, I went to have a look at um some of the bonds that were listed. You know, and it's like it's it's a little bit complicated because I mean maybe because I'm not familiar with yep. bonds, yeah. so there were a lot of things that uh, were unfamiliar to me. I mean, if I I think if I took some time yeah. to learn it, I could pick it up. But <laughs> if it's your first time, it's kind of yeah. like oh, what's happening over here? Yeah. So it's totally different from stocks, which yeah. I'm, we're familiar with. I'm familiar with. Uh, so if you're not familiar with the bond market, this there'll be a bit of a learning curve, I think. Mm. Yep. Yeah. yeah. But, but usually we are dealing with uh, government securities. Typically, it's very safe, safe right? Yeah. It's just that uh, you want to prioritize those that have a very short-term maturity, or at least yeah. when you hold to maturity, like in four weeks or two, three months, you know, yeah. it's very short. You still get your yield return that you want. Yeah. Yeah. So those should be your priority. But if you move to corporate bonds and other things can get complicated. Oh, there's a lot more analysis. And, and there are a lot more risks yeah, you're risk. yeah. dealing with, right? Yeah. But you, yes, government securities, I think you're pretty much Confirm guarantee that you get back your principal. Yeah. All yeah. right. Or no, they just print more and then <laughs> get more of it again. <laughs> All right. So those are two ways that you can kind of like invest in USD instruments. Uh, is is there a third way as well? Ah uh, yes, of course the uh, market fund, right? Okay. So if you have, let's say, uh, Mumu. Yeah. Uh, brokerage account okay yeah. of course if you have a US dollar lying around in your brokerage account that you are standing by to catch the recent bear market in the US you are hoping that you continue to fall further so you park some US dollar cash to capture that right? instead of just parking your money there you can just simply sweep it into the money market fund right mm-hmm. so I think Momo they do have the CSOP USD money market fund yep where they invest in the short-term quality uh, market instruments or uh, debt security. This may usually includes the government bonds, right, typically, right? And yeah, so that itself, uh, at this stage, as I'm looking at the uh, app, okay, I actually get, we are actually getting about 3%. Okay. Very close, okay? So the idea of this fund is basically to mimic the return that uh, what U.S., uh, dollars is getting right yep. in terms of our uh, deposit rate this uh, okay so that's the idea of this fund right so it's very simple right it just when you have us dollars so you just sweep it into the account and then you're earning your three percent interest rate yeah right? and i think the the thing about this is it's just pretty flexible because yep. i think with usds yes. i mean with fixed deposits you gotta go maybe go to the bank or go online yeah uh I do do some kind of things. I I actually use this app myself, um, for for you know just parking money in and out. It's just really yeah. easy to do. Yeah. It's like tap, yeah. tap, tap, I think there's no penalty on that, right? There's really. no penalty. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, there's some price like any fund. There's price volatility, yeah. you know. Yes. But you kind of expect this to very very just inch upward because it's a short term yeah. money market fund. Yep. Yeah. yeah. All right. In fact, if you look at the NAV, uh, I mean, this is fund is relatively new. Okay, if it's actually launched in uh, mid of twenty twenty two. Right, so now we are close to the end of the year. Uh, the NAV has moved up like a turtle, okay. <laughs> very slow and steady, uh, from one dollars all the way to about one point oh eight eight. All right. Okay, so so that within six, six, seven months, six, six months, six months, or less yeah. than that actually. Yeah, seven months. Yeah. yeah. So it's 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 based on NAV. You don't really get your actual interest rate, okay? Yep. Because every interest rate that they receive is within the fund itself. They will re- reinvest re- roll over again. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, I think it's a very flexible kind of arrangement. Of course, you don't get the yield that you're getting with the treasury of uh, not three months Directly, or six months yeah, where yeah. it's yeah. above 4% right now. But it's not too bad. You know, yeah, versus yeah. you just simply park your money like bang and then you're getting a pathetic interest rate, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think each yeah. Is instrument or each option that we've explored here has, has different uses. So yeah. maybe if you have like maybe a lot of money and you yeah. want to park it in the USD, maybe... Yeah the fixed is a possibly may make more sense. Mm. Right. But if your money in the brokerage account and is maybe is earmarked for USD investments anyway, mm. you're investing in US stock market and stuff, but there's really nothing for you to buy right now. Or you look, you're still waiting. Maybe there's stuff to buy, but you're still waiting. Yes, you're still waiting. Yeah. Yeah, and then you go like, man, I just want to earn some interest in the meantime. Yeah. Just can just like put it there mm. and then it's yep. easy in, easy yeah. out. And in a sense. the USD strengthen, you also make your yeah. For a skin on that, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Of course, this uh, you know, CSOP is is literally a fund, so they charge. There's an expense ratio to it. It's mm-hmm. about zero point three percent of their NAV uh, value. But again, you are getting that U, which is de- decent as compared to mm-hmm. just simply putting the cash there. All right. Not earning so pathetic rate. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So I think the main point of this is the flexibility. So I think it's pretty easy. I mean, if you just whip out your phone and all that, you can just like go to 
moo moo, and then you can just kind of like tap tap tap, and then you kind of like <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. It's, it's, literally, it's literally tap yeah. tap tap. You know, <laughs> so uh, you can do check it out. I mean, if you have the moo moo app, do check it out yourself. If you don't, you can also download it, uh, open an account, and then go uh, you know invest in this money market funds if that's what you're looking for as well. Uh, at this point, I also have to cover some risks, yep. right? You know, yes. I think it's not just um, roses all the time. Yep. So what are the risks that we have to look out for? So I think the number one risk is that the US is strengthening right now is because of the rising interest rate. So in the event where the interest rate start to, uh, the Fed start to cut the interest rate, then it will definitely affect the uh, the currency for its yeah. risk over there, right? So that's that's the reason why uh, I don't encourage to to actually put in a fixed deposit that lock up maybe two years or, yeah, or so okay. because you don't know, because this is a short term thing, right? Yeah. So you know now, anytime the Fed can change their decision, even though now at this moment, we know that they they are going to increase and when they taper down, they're still going to have maybe a zero point five, uh, 50 basis point or yep. so, like this, right? But then you never know, they will suddenly change their decision without you knowing, right? Mm-hmm. Which is the case of, they suddenly increase the, the interest rate, am I right? So, so, so for for this right, I think uh, the the Momo thing is because it's short term. You can put it in and you can take it out anytime, mm-hmm. right? Without any penalty. So, so that's the the key for if you want to invest in USD, right? You yeah. have to be uh, short term focused, not long term focused, right? Because, because if you look at the USD compared to the uh, SGD, mm-hmm. uh, over a long period, I think SGD actually uh, Done uh, actually appreciate much more than. Uh, the, the USD, right? But because of the rising interest rate in this coming few, uh, mm-hmm. this year, they actually out, uh, USD actually outperformed SGD. But yeah. then you never know. Yeah, right? so you say moving forward, I mean, yeah. we expect rates to go up yep. and mm. USD to strengthen, but yes, correct. it's not a guarantee. It's not a guarantee. It's a yeah. short-term thing. It's a short-term thing. So yeah. that's why you need to be very liquid in moving yeah. in and out. That's you true. cannot lock it up. Yeah. Right? Okay. So that's the uh, this event, uh, the yeah. thing that you need to note take note about the forex that they will change very fast right? okay. yeah so if you look at the 2000 2010 performance of us dollar actually it has weakened against majority of the currency like euro uh sing dollar even Ch- chinese yen or japanese yen itself okay so that was the period where us dollar has been relatively weak okay so it's not always the case where us dollar will continue to strengthen and then you should put all your money in us dollar okay so what i think we are saying is basically if you have us fund lying around okay you can sweep it into that cash account earning higher rate Otherwise, I don't think it's a good idea to just purposely go and convert into US dollar and just to get the yield and you know, go through the whole hassle. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, betting on the currency will strengthen. Mm-hmm. All right. And, you know, that, that is not really a good idea. But if you really think that US dollar is going to continue to strengthen mm-hmm. the next uh, few years, of course, you can do that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. But personally, as an investor, typically I put my funds where uh, in the local currency so that I don't have to take uh, forest. Uh, mm. risk system okay, okay when i need it then i'll convert it there and, and moreover i think uh, if you look at the momo cash account right they have a floating sgd cash fund which now is yielding at higher rate versus the u.s uh, money market fund right so the floating is about 3.5 percent and then the csop u.s money market fund is about three percent okay yep. so i mean if you have sing dollar i'd rather park in sing yeah but it's, it's great i mean momo yeah. provides both yes, right? yes. Yeah, so it's either one you can choose yep. yeah. maybe you have both sing dollar and so, usd yeah again bear in mind that this rate fluctuate by the yep. time you see yep. it, it could be the area around US dollar is higher uh, yeah. and then the frozen cash EU is yeah. actually lower but okay, of course so the US dollar like you said the strengthen, they will, you will get the yes. strengthening of the US dollar also mm-hmm. yeah. may, if you add it up maybe their interests are the same you never know right yep. it yeah. depends on the interest also alright okay alright so if you're interested in Mumu and you know moving using Mumu Cash Plus to kind of like invest yeah. your, your money or your cash at this point in time you know from now to 31st December you know Mumu is giving away $2 cash back every day for the next 10 days when you invest $100 into Mumu Cash Plus alright and of course, uh, additionally, you will score a chance to invest and earn a guaranteed 5% uh, per annum mm. return for three months with Mumu Cash Plus as well. So there are some terms and conditions as with that. Uh, do check it out as well. Mumu uh, Cash Plus charges zero fees when you use their service as well. All right, so if you're looking for a flexible option to park your cash, do consider Mumu Cash Plus. You can go to the link fifthperson.com slash Mumu and check it out for yourself. Terms and conditions apply. Uh, all views expressed in this video are the in- independent opinions of the fifth person. So myself, yep. Rusman, yep. and Victor. So this information is strictly for educational purposes only. Uh, should not re- be relied upon as financial advice. Okay, so with that, uh, I think we pretty much discussed yeah. uh, what we have to say about you know investing in the USD. Is yeah. there anything else, guys? No, no, yeah. that's all. All right, so I think there's a pretty good wrap up. I think uh, that was pretty useful if you're looking at USD since it's been going up year to date pretty strongly and 
probably expect it to go up maybe mm. all right uh and there's some instruments you can use for yourself all right so my name is adam that is rosemary thank, thank you thank you thank you so much for watching if you need questions about this put them in the comment section please like this video if you like our roundtable and of course subscribe to our channel many more roundtables coming up and we'll love to see you again